Hi everyone, Tam's here. I'm back with a weekly wrap up for you today. There is probably no surprise that my decorating theme this week will be Valentine's Day related. I had a great uh, week in addition to Valentine's Day. I had three house guests that stayed with me. So I'm going to share a couple of highlights from our week's adventures because I was able to knock out a few personal goals that I'd set for myself. I volunteer at my local library and this week I was invited to a luncheon just for the volunteers for the library and they did a wonderful job with decorations and made it really special. I also have a personal goal to get outside and walk more and I do this by daily walking or working in the garden but I also try to visit a local or state park at least once a month. And this week we visited two. On Saturday, we found this great trail over at Peterson Park in Lakeland, Florida. And then on Sunday, we visited Circle B Bar Park and got in some more hiking. We walked six miles on Saturday and four miles on Sunday, so I got a great workout. And then later on Sunday evening, we took advantage of the weather made a little fire pit and grilled out for dinner with family. Okay, let's talk about the materials I use. I am going to try to do a better job sharing the types of materials that I use because I do get emails asking me more specific questions and asking for more specific information than what I already uh, give in my previous videos. Um, everything that I use, if I can link it, I will link it down in the description box below. And if you're watching this via my blog, I will list it on my blog as well. So, no surprise, my notebook is the Midori Insert 019. Um, if you've been watching my videos, you know I use that. Uh, for those of you that want to uh, begin work with fountain pens. I'm going to share with you exactly what some fountain pen uh, friends shared with me when I first got started. Uh, these are Pilot Metropolitan fountain pens. I really like these. I think they are a great starter pen. As you can see, I've got several different colors because I like to ink them all up with the different inks. Um, this is the very, whoops, this is the very first one that I ever purchased. It's the Pilot Metropolitan. It's a fine nib. You can purchase these fine nib, medium nib, what have you. Again, I will link it below, but I do recommend this type of fountain pen for a beginner fountain pen. It's only about $15 and I really enjoy writing with these. Once you get fancier, you can graduate to the more fancier, expensive fountain pens, but if you're just getting started, I don't see anything wrong with these. Uh, this week, I'll be using this pen, which I have inked with this Pilot Eroshizuku ink. I can never pronounce the colors, but this is Fuyugaki. <laughs> I'm sure I'm butchering that name. But this is part of a trio set that I bought as a starter kit. And again, I love these inks. These are beautiful. And you can get a nice little bottle of three different kinds. I will link this below as well. Here are the decorations I'm going to be using for this week. From the library volunteers luncheon, I have a piece of wrapping paper from a gift that they gave us. I have a napkin from our luncheon. The washi tape I'm going to be using is this silver and gold. This is MT, of course, and I will link this down below as well if you're interested in this. This was part of a set of several different types of washi tapes, but I thought just since it's so much red, I'd pull out some silver and gold. I have some stickers that a pen pal sent me, and you, as you can see, I got plenty of mail this week, which I love. I have tons of really beautiful love stamps that I can work with this week. And also, I received several Valentines from Valentines, Virginia, and I want to try to use this postmark somehow. So those are the found items that I will be using for decoration this week. Okay, so here we are with this week's uh, layout. 
I'm going to start with the decoration. So there are bits of the napkin and wrapping paper from the library luncheon. I've made a little collage with that as well as a sticker that was on one of my pen pal snail mail. I also use the postage stamps that came in the mail this past week. There were a lot of love stamps and I love the way they look. And I added the postmarks from the mail that came through Valentine's Virginia. If you're not familiar with the Valentine's Virginia post office and you are a snail mail uh, fan like I am, I will link uh, somewhere around here or either below a blog post that I did. Uh, I grew up not far from Valentine's Virginia and there's a cute little country store and lots of people send mail through there during Valentine's and you get not only the heart-shaped postmark but you get this really cute rubber stamping on your mail and it's just it's just a great place to go for Valentine's Day or it, it's just so special to receive Valentine's from Valentine's Virginia. Um, also from my mail I got this week there was a seal on one of the Valentine cards so I've got Charlie Brown there and in addition to the gold and silver washi tape that I had in my stash I peeled off bits and pieces from uh, some of the washi tape that was on the incoming mail. Now on to the journaling again I use my weekly journal to keep me on track with my vision and goals for myself so you'll notice almost every week I have very similar categories but this is very helpful for me. For example um, I was having a bit of a writer's block this week I needed to get my blog started and I did not know what my first post was going to be about and I also needed to read a book this week I was a little behind on my reading and I decided to visit Stephen King's on writing it's a great book if you enjoy writing and it was very inspiring so reading that book for one goal inspired me to write uh, for my blog which was another goal so just an example there of how doing weekly journaling can help you stay on track and of course I journaled about the library luncheon and uh, my guests that visited and a big goal that I had for myself to get outside and visit some parks and that's it uh, I hope this was helpful as always I thank you for watching